All right, we're going to start from number 201 to 220. Number 201 is 닫다, which means to close. 외출할 땐 문을 닫으세요. Close the door when you go out. 외출하다 is to go out. And 외출할 땐 is when you go out. And 문 is the door. And 을 is the objective case. And 닫으세요 is an imperative predicate. So 외출할 땐 문을 닫으세요. Close the door when you go out. Number 202 is 열다, which means to open. 이 열쇠로 문을 열수 있습니다. You can open the door with this key. 이 is this. 열쇠 is key. So 이 열쇠 is this key. And law is a post position, meaning with in English. 열수 있습니다 is can open. Because 수 있습니다 means can. So 이 열쇠로 문을 열수 있습니다. You can open the door with this key. Number 203 is 쏘다, which means to shoot. 한 병사가 총을 쏘고 있습니다. A soldier is shooting. 한 is one and 병사 is soldier. And 가 is the subjective case. 총을 쏘다 is to shoot. So 한 병사가 총을 쏘고 있습니다. A soldier is shooting. Number 204 is 찍다, which has a four meanings. To chop at, uh, stamp something on something, um, dip into something, or take a picture. Okay, I will explain each sentence one by one. The first one is 그가 도끼로 나무를 찍고 있습니다. He is chopping wood uh, with an axe. 그가 is a he and 도끼 is x and 로 is with so 도끼로 is with an x right 나무 is a tree or with and 를 is the objective case 찍고 있습니다 is the present progressive form of 찍다 so 그가 도끼로 나무를 찍고 있습니다 he is chopping with with an x the second sentence is 이 서류에 스탬프를 찍어 주세요 Please stamp this document. 이 서류 is this document. And 에 is a kind of a post position indicating a spot or place. Stamp is written as it sounds. And 를 is the objective case. And 찍어주세요 is an imperative predicate. So 이 서류에 스탬프를 찍어주세요. Please stamp this document. The third sentence is 저는 비스켓을 카푸치노에 찍어 먹습니다. I dip biscuits in cappuccino and eat them. 저는 is I and biscuit and cappuccino. These two words are written as they sound. And 찍어 먹다 can be divided into two parts. 찍다 is changed into 찍어. The letter 다 is replaced with 어 in order to express and 먹습니다 is an honorific predicate of 먹다. Which means to eat. So 찍어 먹습니다 is I dip and eat. So 저는 비스켓을 카푸치노에 찍어 먹습니다. I dip biscuits in cappuccino and eat them. The fourth sentence is 그녀가 사진을 찍고 있습니다. She is taking a picture. 그녀가 is she and 사진 is a picture. And 찍고 있습니다 is the present progressive form of 찍다. So 그녀가 사진을 찍고 있습니다. She is taking a picture. Number 205 is 여행하다, which means to travel. 저는 인도로 여행하고 싶습니다. I want to travel to India. 인도 is India. And the letter lo is to in English. 여행하고 싶습니다 is want to travel. So 저는 인도로 여행하고 싶습니다. I want to travel to India. Number 206 is 흔들다 흔들리다, which means to shake, wave, or sway. 흔들다 is a transitive verb, which means 흔들다 is an object. And 흔들리다 is an intransitive verb, which means it doesn't need an object, right? 한 소녀가 손을 흔들고 있습니다. A girl is waving her hand. 한 소녀 is a girl. And 가 is the subjective case. 손 is a hand. And 을 is the objective case. And 흔들고 있습니다 is the present progressive form of 흔들다. So 한 소녀가 손을 흔들고 있습니다. A girl is waving her hand. 
코스모스가 바람에 흔들리고 있습니다. Cosmos is our swaying in the wind. Cosmos is written as it sounds as a flower. Cosmos is, and 바람 is wind. And the letter A is the same as in in English. So 바람에 is in the wind. 흔들리고 있습니다 is the present progressive form of 흔들리다. So 코스모스가 바람에 흔들리고 있습니다. Cosmos is our swaying in the wind. Number 207 is 휘두르다, which means to swing or wield. 그 여전사는 검을 잘 휘두릅니다. The lady warrior wields her sword well. 그 is the, and the letter 여 means woman, and 전사 is warrior. So 여전사 is a lady warrior, and 검 is a sword, and 을 is the objective case. 잘 is an adverb meaning well. And 휘두릅니다 is a predicate form. So 그 여전사는 검을 잘 휘두릅니다. The lady warrior wields her sword well. Number 208 is 소리치다, 고함지르다, which means to shout. 그는 화가 나서 나에게 소리쳤습니다. Or 고함질렀습니다. He shouted at me in anger. 그는 is a he. And 화가 나서 came from 화가 나다, which means to get angry, and 다 is replaced with so in order to express the cause or reason. So 화가 나서 is in anger. 다 is me, and 에게 is to or at. So 나에게 is to me or at me. 소리쳤습니다, or 고함질렀습니다, is the past tense form of 소리치다, 고함질르다. So 그는 화가 나서 나에게 소리쳤습니다, or 고함질렀습니다. He shouted at me in anger. Number 209 is 실패하다, which means to fail. 우리는 그 계획을 실패했습니다. We failed the plan. 우리는 is we, and 그 계획 is the plan. And 을 is the objective case. And 실패했습니다 is the past tense form of 실패하다. So 우리는 그 계획을 실패했습니다. We failed the plan. Number 210 is 실수하다, which means to make a mistake. 그는 문제를 풀다가 실수해버렸습니다. He made a mistake while solving the problem. 그는 is he, and 문제 is a problem, and 를 is the objective case. And 풀다가 came from 풀다, which means to solve, and you could think of the letter ga is the subjective case, but uh, it is only when ga is placed behind nouns, when ga is placed behind a verb, it means that while someone is doing something. So 문제를 풀다가 is while solving the problem. 실수해버렸습니다 is the past tense form of 실수하다. So 그는 문제를 풀다가 실수해버렸습니다. He made a mistake while solving the problem. Number 211 is 망치다, which means to ruin. 그런 농담은 분위기를 망칠 수도 있습니다. Such jokes can ruin the atmosphere. 그런 is a such, and 농담 is a jokes, and 은 is the subjective case. 분위기 is atmosphere, and 망치다 is changed into 망칠 수도 있습니다. The letter 수도 means the possibility of something happening. That is to say, can. And 있습니다 is an honorific predicate, so 그런 농담은 분위기를 망칠 수도 있습니다. Such jokes can ruin the atmosphere. Number 212 is 걱정하다, which means to worry about. 걱정하지 마세요. 잘될 거예요. Don't worry, it will be okay. When the last letter da in all the verbs in Korean words is replaced with 지 마세요. For example, 걱정하다 is changed into 걱정하지 마세요. That means don't worry, which is a negative imperative sentence. 잘 is well and 될 거예요 is will be. In fact, 잘될 거예요 is a cheering words or encouraging expression. So 걱정하지 마세요 잘될 거예요. Don't worry, it will be okay. Number 213 is 취소하다, which means to cancel. 오늘 저녁 식사 약속이 취소되었습니다. Today's dinner appointment has been cancelled. 오늘 is today, and 저녁 is evening, and 식사 is a meal. So 저녁 식사 is dinner, right? 
and Yakusogi is appointment, and E is the subjective case. Chisodeosnida is the past tense form of chisodeda, which is the passive expression of chisohada. So chisohada is to cancel, and chisodeda is to be cancelled, right? 오늘 저녁 식사 약속이 취소되었습니다. Today's dinner appointment has been cancelled. Number 214 is 소개하다, which means to introduce. 저의 동생을 소개할게요. Let me introduce my sister. 저의 is my, and 동생 is a younger brother or sister, and 을 is the objective case. And blah blah 할게요 is let me blah blah. So, 저의 동생을 소개할게요. Let me introduce my sister. Number 215 is 시작하다, which means to begin. 해가 뜨기 시작합니다. The sun is starting to rise. 해 is the sun, and 가 is the subjective case. 뜨다 is to rise. And the letter 기 is used to make a, a noun form in order to make an object of the verb behind it 시작합니다. 시작합니다 is the predicate of 시작하다, which means to begin. So 해가 뜨기 시작합니다. The sun is starting to rise. Number 216 is 돌보다, which means to take care of. 저의 아이를 돌볼 사람이 필요합니다. I need someone to take care of my child. 저의 is my, and I is a kid or child. And 돌보다 is changed into 돌볼 in order to modify the noun behind 사람, which means a, a person. So 저의 아들을 돌볼 사람 is someone to take care of my child. And 필요합니다 is the predicate of a 필요하다, which means to need. So 저의 아이를 돌볼 사람이 필요합니다. I need someone to take care of my child. Number 217 is 가라앉다, which means to sink. 돌멩이는 물속에 가라앉습니다. Stones sink into the water. 돌멩이 is a stone, and 물 is water, and 속에 is into. So 물속에 is into the water, right? 가라앉습니다 is an honorific predicate of 가라앉다, which means to sink. So 돌멩이는 물속에 가라앉습니다. Stones sink into the water. Number 218 is 충고하다, which means to advise. 저는 사업상 당신에게 충고할 말이 있습니다. I have a something to advise you on business. 저는 is I and 사업 is business. And the letter 상 means by the context. So 사업상 is on business, right? And 충고하다 is changed into 충고할 in order to modify the noun behind, behind it, 말, which means words. So 충고할 말 is something to advise. And 있습니다 is an honorific predicate of 있다. So 저는 사업상 당신에게 충고할 말이 있습니다. I have a something to advise you on business. Number 219 is 남기다, which means to leave something. 저는 오늘 모든 사람들의 댓글에 답글을 남겼습니다. I left replies on all people's comments. 저는 is I and 오늘 is today. And 모든 is all and 사람 is a person. And the letter 들 is plural, so 사람들 is a people, right? And 의 is a genitive case and 댓글 is a comment. So 모든 사람들의 댓글 is all people's comments, right? And the letter A is the same as on in English, and 답글 is reply, and 남겼습니다 is the past tense form of 남기다, which means to leave. So 저는 오늘 모든 사람들의 댓글에 답글을 남겼습니다. I left replies on all people's comments. Number 220 is 떠나다, which means to leave or depart. 그녀는 오늘 여행을 떠납니다. She is leaving on a trip today. 그녀 is a she, and 는 is the subjective case. 오늘 is today, and 여행 is a travel or trip. And 을 is the objective case. And 떠납니다 is an honorific predicate. So 그녀는 오늘 여행을 떠납니다. She is leaving on a trip today. Okay, we have finished. As I told you, you'd better watch this video at least three times, okay? Let's call it a day. I'll see you next time.